Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to LCK Challenger 2023 Summer. I hope you've had a lovely break. We certainly did. And uh, now it is time to jump into our second series of the day. As you saw, a bit of an upset in our first series. Live Sandbox. They got shivved in game one. They got less shivved in game two and they managed to win. And then zero shivs were purchased and Live Sandbox crushed them in game number three. We'll see whether that trend is going to continue as we move towards our second series of the night. Kwandong Freaks taking on Nongshim. Um, both of these squads not necessarily finding all that much success, but Nongshim a little bit more than that of Kwandong Freaks. Yeah, Nongshim also has faced some of the best teams in Challengers, and Kwandong have just not been great ever since they lost Bulldog, and we don't see Ilama very often, and even when we do, he's Kind he of is going to be playing today. I know, but he's he's lost some of his shine, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, it is not the Elema of last year's spring where he was, together with Bulldog, still losing a whole lot. But the way they did it was it looked glorious. Better. It did Blazer look glory. Uh, Nongshim is a team that is, at times, very silly. But I have to say, uh, fifth for this roster would be a little bit of an underperformance. I do really expect them to be able to push it up just a little bit. We'll see whether or not they're actually going to be able to as they take on Kwangdong here tonight. And we do have some slight adjustments when it comes to these rosters. As we mentioned, Ilama will be starting this time around. Courage, Cleaver, Bull, and Andal are going to round out your Kwangdong Creeks roster. The biggest question mark uh, for this squad, I think, um, Pretty uh, obviously has been Bull. Uh, he really hasn't had a great performance so far. We'll see whether he can pull it together here for today's match because as we head over to the other side of the rift, his competition is going to be a little bit different. You guys may have noticed that Jiwoo was starting in the LCK for Nongshim Red Force. Um, he and Vital are both up there um, trading places, uh, much like they kind of did on the previous Nongshim Challenger yeah. roster, um, as it was Jiwoo that was actually to take, uh, able to take the victory um, alongside the rest of his team in that five game series against D Plus last season, or last year, sorry. Um, and now he's uh, back to join his old squad once again, and that kind of means that the Nongshim uh, here in Challenger is going to have a little bit less to work with when it comes to 80 carries. Um, you know, uh, so therefore we might have a kind of double mid lane type situation here. As, as you can see, Mihail still up there, Sounder still in the jungle. Call Me might be in the mid lane and Kallax, the sub mid laner, is now playing in the 80 carry position. And with double eight. Hey, Perks has shown us just be good and oh, you'll yeah. be fine. Oh, so, yeah. Calix, just be good. Don't be bad. Be a good AD carry. Grin on his face here today. And for Nung Shin, we'll see what this swap brings. What I really want to hone in on, though, is that even if you know, the laning phase is not necessarily going to look amazing as we see them. They're having, having a bit of a fun. Bit of a giggle. Yeah. Looks like uh, Double H and Kalix already have a bit of that synergy worked out. It's good um, to see. But Nongshim, when it comes to team fighting, to me, is, is still a team that looks so much better than Kwong. Just in how they move around the map and what they've been able to show. And my hope coming in here today is that the loss of Jiwoo does not mean that we lose those aspects of Nongshim, something that they've been relying on to perform here in Challengers, as that is very cute. Very, very cute. Like that one a lot. Um, apparently, my microphone is just straight up broken. Um, so I'm just going to send a little bit of a message uh, uh, just to see whether we can sort this one out. And in the meanwhile, I will gladly talk for you. That would be great. Because, you know, if you don't have a microphone, it's hard to talk. And I hope everyone is doing well. I'm excited to see whether we are going to be shiving it up or whether it is going to be a uh, not, not so shivy type of game. We did see the LeBlanc get highly prioritized in, I want to say only one of the game as uh, the original Terrible Gamer I think that was fine. Seems like chat is Yeah, that's what I kind right. of thought as well. I thought it was um, probably fine. It might be just me moving it around a little bit too much, but uh, Valdez seems to think that it's a bit broken. So um, I do want to trust him. So we'll see how it goes. I have sent a message through and they will monitor it 
and uh, they will decide whether or not anyone is insane. Here we are into the draft, and uh, I will do my best to try and ignore potential issues with the microphone and uh, get straight to it. Um, Nongshim banning away the Kasante kind of interests me, Chronicler, because I don't know whether it's necessarily a first pick champion, and Mihail loves it. He does. And uh, it feels a bit sad that you see the Mihail team banning it away. The Cat, the Vi, and the Ari all taken off the board here by Quantum Freak, so no surprises there, Milio. but yeah, Milio probably should get a bit of a look in here. Let's see what Nongshim do decide to get rid of. And I wonder what Kalix will opt in for when it comes to uh, 80 carries, as Milio, like we mentioned, going to be banned. I would say probably something oh, like a... Oh, there we oh, go. Okay, never mind. Kwangnan gets it. We Shivan. Now, I do think that there is a considerable amount of skill involved with the early navigation, but once you hit like a two thread and power spike, it, you just dash forward and then you order someone and then the half the team goes boom. So we'll see whether that is going to be the case here. We saw the tech. It was a... Kaisa mid that was pulled out by Viteo. Reason why it works is because you can match the mobility that LeBlanc has. You're all in potential into her is obviously really hard for her to deal with. And when she dashes in, you just press Q. And it, it really is that easy. You wow. know, it's that straightforward. I like it. But I don't know if we're going to see it. I don't think so because I don't expect challengers mm. to be copying LEC strats. But we'll see as we are going to Zaya Rakan here. And I really like LeBlanc. I think that Aphelios, even though he is clearly our top tier number one above everything, unless Zara Yumi is open and he carry, can struggle into getting outranged. But Zyra Khan has been okay. I think the laning phase is pretty, pretty rough. And a Lulu lock in. Fresh is another one. Fresh really on a return here, yeah, yeah. which I'm fine with. I really like Fresh. I think Fresh into Rakan when you are certain about your hands is great and the combination of safety that it provides while simultaneously allowing Sounda to play aggressive and then either get built out or follow up on it is something that I'm always happy to see. As yes, Lee LeBlanc is Busto, so better bad another way. Yep, gonna get rid of the Lee Sin. They were an also, um, a classic R4 here that Mihail would uh, certainly love to go towards if he could get his hands on it. Um, not going to be the case though, as uh, Nongshim thinking about banning away yet another jungler, I would assume. Try and thin out that pool as much as possible. Something like Viego does uh, also work with LeBlanc relatively well, but I think Kazix kind of fit, fits that bill. They will get rid of that one. And so now, Quantum Freaks, a Jax potentially. You know, you could go for some more of these uh, top-sided uh, focus bands. We'll see where they do land on this one. Um, the Ari, another one that uh, has actually performed quite well into the LeBlanc, could be uh, worth a little bit of a look here by the Quantum Freaks also. But no, it'll be Talia instead. Taken off the board, call me not going to get the, uh, his hands under that one. Also interesting to see Kalix just straight up picking up a Thelios. Is a pick that definitely requires a decent amount of time investment. We're going to be taking a look at how his weapon management is, how he's able to perform in lane. Yeah, he's probably got a few tips, but uh, it's, it's one so. thing to get some tips and another thing to actually uh, play it correctly. Ooh, as, I like that. Yeah, Gragas going to be locked in. A lot of flex available here. Both Colmy and Mihail, very capable of picking that one up. So Quantum Freaks, a few uh, more difficulties in uh, what they want to pick up for that top side. Jax into Gragas also feels pretty bad. Ilama is a cannon enjoyer and... Maybe Kwangdong sold the game with DRX1 against Sandbox. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a there's a fair bit of Shiver Me Timbers happening here. Um, all right. Courage, what are we playing? What are we jungling with? I, I, I do think picking Cannon into Gragas is kind of great. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but that's fine. Just outplay it. Just be better, you know? Could be the way to do it. As, oh no. It is a good combo. Rakan, yeah, Rakan yeah. Wukong, and... Cannon is, is quite strong. Okay. Well, let's but see whether it works. I just kind of hate Wukong, you know? It's rough. As uh, okay, call me. When you can't beat him, join him. As we shivin. We are okay. shivin in that mid lane. It's going to be it, isn't it? I really, I really strongly prefer the AP variant of Shiv, but... You can't always get what you want. No spec miles. Also go for the AP variant of Gragas here. Did they, did they give Tristana back any of her AP ratios? No, <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. No. I loved 
I absolutely loved AP Tristana back in the day. Oh man, that was so fun. So fun. You remember when her E was a dot? And it just did a crap load of dot damage and then you built pure AP and it just melt people? They just ignite E them and they just die? Oh my god. Sounds like some AP Cyan level of strength. Oh, it was so good. Oh yeah. Reginald, represent. That was, I think, the most skillful that League of Legends has ever I know! Been. Build Mobies and as many rings as you can buy, yeah. and just win. So, front to back for Nongship's Calm, absolutely amazing, great engage, but I do worry a little bit about their skirmishing when it comes to objectives. For Kwangdong, very, very aggressive composition. Do worry a little bit. The Tristana means that Bo is going to be severely outranged as the game goes on. Yep. With uh, the uh, Q and the beats and it's going to be up to Kwang to actually execute a proactive like aggressive composition that relies on Wukong and Rakan going in in tandem possible flanks of a cannon going to be pivotal as well and with oh, the amount of disengage um, that's available I kind of want to challenge I kind of want to challenge you on that one because I actually think the Quantum Freeze's comp relies entirely on Cleaver pressing W to go forward and auto attacking one person and then doing that repeatedly until they all die post free items yes We'll see whether they get to that point. They, they may will. get to that point. Uh, we'll just have to see um, whether the shiving is going to get out of control. And we're once again going to have to have a shiv counter and all of these sorts of things. Oh dear, time to rock out before we hop into the rift. Doot, doot, doot. All right, here we are under the rift for game number one. Quanong Freaks on our blue side. They have selected the LeBlanc. She has the rune, the fleet footwork, ready to build a shiv and have a great time. Um, this is Ooh. the most obvious one. Same thing to be uh, picked up here by Colmy, just pretending that he is also a LeBlanc. I like so, that. So, do you want to know that Elamai is not going to go for the same build? Has gone for Aerie. Did pick up Doran's Blade, but Doran's Blade is just a great item on cannon early in general because of how many autos you weave in in your early trading. And early on in the game, even with the Gragas passive, those are going to be pretty obnoxious to play into. As we are trading right from the get go, call me not going for Lethal Tempo though, but going for the fleet instead is a hint that it will indeed be another another shiver yep definitely going to be building a ship we'll just see whether it's actually going to work out here calyx we'll see also whether he's going to build a ship as a mid laner by trade he'd probably know that the ship is pretty broken um given the fact that that is the lane that he generally pays attention to as uh, currently getting shoved in just a little. Call me going to get some deep vision here on the enemy. Raptor camp. And Kalex just having a pretty good time here. Getting some harassment down. Not laning too badly. And when lane swaps uh, or roll swaps like this uh, happen. I actually kind of feel like. Especially in the lower tiers of play. Like challenger like this. That often they're a bit smoother. Than we've seen uh, when it's in the tippy top level. Yeah. Um, but we'll just see whether Kalex is going to continue looking comfortable. Do want to highlight Bull actually going for Cole here and Kalex going for Doran's Blade to me is a sign that he didn't want the extra safety net. Because normally it's the other way around. It's the Aphelios that actually takes up the call. Uh, although that is mostly with Milio lanes, which are a lot more aggressive. Whereas Bull going for the... Or normally Desire goes for Doran's Blade. In this case, Bull has gone for Cole. Kalex hasn't, so Kalex is going to naturally fall behind if he does not pick up a call down the line. He's trying to get through his red guns as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And we will see how that bot lane continues, but for right now, Kalex and HH a little bit on the struggle Ooh. bus here. It's kind of hurting, as we do get a blade caller. Fair few feathers on the floor there for uh, Bull to work with. So nicely done, already getting a bit of that shove in, but of course not going to have a massive amount of lane presence as the uh, Thresh in these levels unless you find uh, a Rakan that's out of position but he's hard to hook, things like that. Yeah. Um, you can certainly uh, play around things with uh, Flay when you get later into the game, so I think the Thresh will be a good tool uh, as long as Double H does have the mechanics for it. Uh, Sounder is just going to eliminate that Rift Scuttler. As now, speaking of getting eliminated, Kalyx in a whole host of trouble does have to cleanse Flash to get out of that one. 
finds some damage, but it's not enough. And he's going to have to go home very, very early. And Bull saying, why is there a mid laner in my lane? I should be against an AD carry. And that one is honestly kind of an HH, as he was unable to hit the hook. So much more damage came through, means that Kallax was forced to use his summoners. Honestly done by Ando as well. And right from the get-go here, we do see the Aphelios struggle a little bit. Cleaver is going to get the better initial end of the trade, but will be mostly equalized by the time the explosive shot comes out as Courage on Vision. Yep, Sounder is going to turn up here as well, though, as the, into the back line they go. First Blood goes to the Rakan. Not exactly optimal target, as Andal will carry that turret shot about a trillion miles away. And, yeah, that was just kind of a free kill. I thought that uh, Kallax was going to go home there, but instead greets for the wave and is going to be rightly punished. Yeah, and again, there's Bull with a much weaker start that scales better. He didn't get a kill, but he still is sitting on that call. And the, oh yeah, getting, like taking free autos like that can be the difference maker. Is setting up for his next weapon, but still sitting on Calibrum here. Now is it available, but not really gonna change anything. Gets taken down and with the mobility on Rakan, even with the hook hitting, no issues there. Everyone on Kwangdong gets out alive and they find an early gold lead. Yeah, just fine here for the Kwangdong Freaks. So Nongshim, we'll see whether they can rally around this one. Of course, we are looking at this Quantum Freaks comp and feeling pretty good about how it does at most parts of this game, um, especially with the LeBlanc factor um, playing hey. a decent part of it. Calm is matching him, so yep. that's nice, I, I guess. And also, Calm W does do a dishy dash move. You know, it does. You bounce towards your opposition, and you could hurt them. Um, with moves. I, you, l you lack the ability to jump back so unless you kill them. Though. I don't know this. I kind of should go into practice one and check this out. If Call Me ults Cleaver, does Cleaver get stacks? Hmm. Oh, because he moves. Because yeah. he moves. <laughs> I mean, it is based on distance traveled, isn't it? Yeah, and, so I don't, and you can I don't get know. it on distortion. So yeah, I mean, I know in it's... In theory, maybe. Which, it, he should. I know it's like, uh, like with all Kemzak and Akali. I know with anything that you do yourself, it would work. But... Like, if you don't choose to do it, yeah, do you do it? I imagine it would, which, you know, I don't think that interaction is going to matter at all. But I, I would just like to know. All right, <laughs> someone hop fun. into the practice tool and let us know Please uh, report how that. it goes. Uh, I don't know how you're going to um, set that one up all that easily. But uh, look, we trust you. Just practice tool is disabled. Okay, oh. never mind. Oh. Well, well, that is unfortunate. Wrecked. Thank you, chat, for letting us know. There you go. As Cleaver's going to take an explosive charge uh, to the Nobby. Ooh, might be having a fight here. Could be. Handle. Look at Mile. He is ahead of the curve. Yeah, exactly right. You can see Illumon, no teleport available. He's in the top lane. Courage is six, though. Yeah. See what will actually happen here. Smart. Yeah, that, I... yeah, no, we're, we're, just, so, uh, we're just giving it away. So... So there's two decisions you can make. You can either smite and then go in for the fight, which you probably win, because you're a Wukong that's level six and the enemies are not. Or you don't smite, as uh, Ilama is still going to go for Static Shift, even without the uh -huh. fleet, which is interesting. Well, really sometimes you just build the good item. You I know? mean, like, obviously, Cannon is still able to get a lot of value from it, but I feel like the... What makes the build so dumb is the fact that you stack Energize so quickly, which does rely on combining the two. Yeah. Well, um, just going to go for it anyway. We'll see how it does work out. As three shivs being prepared, being cooked up here, uh, if we include everyone. I'm not sure whether Kallax is going to be going for it, item number one. He could certainly do so. Yeah, Kallax and Bull are the one that we still have our eye on. Yeah. Um, Bull, certainly with the potential uh, to get there. Also, we'll see where it is actually going to begin. I imagine that uh, Bull will probably get there, though. Triple Shiv uh, on the side of Quandong Freaks, as Nongshim do their very best to keep up with it. Mm. Looks like just Kraken. Yeah, the um, last chapter being picked up from Mahail makes me really sad. I was just hoping for Shiv Gragas. Shiv Graggy. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, Can't have everything. Coach. We'll get spotted here. 
And Sounda needs to get something going here. Pick it up, it would be big. Yeah, that is going to be a flash used by Elmo to get out of the way of the Bomber. Very nicely done. And now Nongshim know that there's no flash on this cannon. Yes, he does have ult, but he's not going to be as mobile as they're still going to dive in for this one. A lot of value comes through from that Cyclone. They get the double knockup onto Sounder, and that should spell the end of his life. And Andal will be the one to lock down that kill. Kwandong Freaks now set their sights on this Herald. They should be able to lock that one down also. Really nicely done. Only this Drake has been picked up by Nongshim so far in this early game. Unfortunate execution errors there from Nongshim. Mahal not able to actually get the clean combo on Tailama. He gets a window to flash. And then here, Sounda not going to be able to find his ultimate. And what's crucial here as well is the fact no task available or no um, ultimate, no box yeah, available. Yeah, Sounda kind of threw then. his ult to Narnia as also well, that. unfortunately. Yeah, and you are Sejuani, so you're the tankiest member. But I also I didn't check if Aftershock isn't up, then you don't actually tank that much, right? You really need the extra resistances. And with the ult missing, not sure whether that was the case. As a result, Kwangnam with a great turn, get the early lead. The only downside for them is that a lot of this gold lead is on Rakan. Which... I, I reckon that's kind of that's kind of cool though. Let's see whether Andal's going to be able to hard carry this game. Here. That's nice. They do so. Bull was uh, kind of waiting, but didn't want to overstep onto this one. Did have Featherstorm available, but. You're still going to be in trouble if you do come back down again, and there's a death sentence on its way. So not wanting to throw away his flash or anything like that, he isn't going to step too far forward. As Kalix is keeping up somewhat OK in farm, despite what happened in the early stages of the game. Only 5 CS is nothing to really worry about. But this game is starting to spiral oh, yeah? uh, into Kwandong Freaks' favor. And they have a very comfy composition, you know? Like, it feels good. You go in, you press all your R buttons, you know, enemy team gets CC'd, and you've got a lot of consistent damage to come through from Cleaver and Bull. So, so as we saw in the game that was played at the beginning of the day, it makes it so much easier to set up for team fights when you have Perma Pryo. And Kalmi is going to be able to match Cleaver for sure, even though Kalmi isn't going to be able to rely on the extra AP scaling of the Lightning to evaporate waves as fast as Cleaver. You are Tristana, right? So you just have a lot of innate clear anyway. So I think you should be able to decently match. But on top, it's actually going to be tough. Even going AP Gragas, I don't know to what extent you can match what Cannon, who is going to build full AP, can do as... Oh, Andy, I don't know about that one. Well, that is a box for him to play around in. The hook does connect, but there is a Cyclone to bail him out. And Double H is just dead. Another one! Oh man, that was like last tick of Ignite to come through there. You can't even really blame Andor for that one. Okay, well, that is a killing spree for the Rakan. It's games like this you kind of wish he was a Zerath, you know? I, I often wish that champions were Zerath. Maybe we'll see Zerath on next, the next patch? patch. Yeah, he's getting a ton of buffs. Do you think it'd be mid lane? Oh, uh, um, Mihail gets a solo kill under Ilma. Oh Discuss. my god, I don't, I don't know how, but I want to see. Because that's actually really big, right? These are the moments that you need He's if you so, are... Yeah. If you are Nongshin... <laughs> because... Oh, does he get like the, the combo into the... No. Okay, I was like waiting for him to knock Ilma into... It's oh. really that straightforward. Beautifully done. Like on the cask and then just the just burst. Just gorgeously Gragas. Yeah, uh, Merc Trets paying off fully there. Nongshim are very far behind in gold, but do have the first move here. Maha is close. They can get this Drake, it'd be big. Certainly would. Andal Ooh. looking for that opportunity is there. It is the grand entrance, a triple knockup. As Andal is going to be ticking Whoa. down, and that is a huge shutdown under the Rakan. And now Nongshim looking for even more courage in trouble. That is going to be a kill for Kalix, the stand in 80 carry. Getting fed now. It's oh no! The calculation wasn't there. Oh, call me. That wasn't it. But still, this is Nongshim picking up the Drake very comfortably, and it will be their second of the game as well. We mentioned that it was the only thing that they were able to put together earlier on, and so now stacking towards an infernal soul this game. I, I don't know about this aggressive ultimate from Ball here. Um, and then Ando going in, but crucially, they're down a member. 
because Mahal, again, like last time, is earlier to the room. So they don't want to go and engage into the choke point. But at that point, like, you just got to have to, uh, yes, Illumise him there. But look at how low these health bars are. Bull did absolutely nothing that it. fight outside of pressing ult before he needed to. Yeah. So, not great. Look in the fight from Kwangdong. This was four versus five, but that's kind of a them. And then with an Infernal Drake, and now only a 1k gold deficit, Longshim keeping themselves in it here. But yeah. do note that the gold lead is still up for Kwangdong. And as mentioned, the LeBlanc changes so much with this build compared to what she usually does because the amount of pressure she's able to consistently output in a team fight is it, it, it's unreal. It frankly. is pretty silly. Not yeah. to mention the amount of uh, split pushing she's going to be able to do. All that sort of stuff. Like you mentioned, though, uh, Call Me should be out of match uh, with the fact that they're both just going to be destroying minion waves, right? Like, that is uh, kind of going to be the goal. I like it when you uh, you see the Tristanas pick up the Firefighter Tristana skin as well, because if you use them in a side lane, it's like they're putting out side lane fires. And that's what LeBlanc kind of creates in this game. So thematically, it kind of works, in my opinion. Also, there's a lot of arsonists that, you know, get into firefighting. That's actually a statistic, which is really like, interesting. Like in, if you like fire, then you, you will, may as yeah. well just go and enjoy the fire while you're putting it out. Exactly. And um, Call Me is also going to absolutely shred turrets the moment that he gets Ooh, to a lane. Yeah. So he can both put out fires and create them. There we go. Which is cool. Works absolutely on gorgeous. Levels. Raising those turrets. Beautiful stuff. Um, Kallax has moved to the mid lane here. Does have red-white guns right now. Uh, Gale Force was what he completed first as... Uh, Sounder going to have to take a bit of a lantern ride to get himself out of the way. Mihail looking for Cleaver, but he will instead find himself a chain. And now, full mini wave to deal with, as we mentioned, uh, clearing Herald waves, two. no issue, issue for the LeBlanc. But I, I think that because of the builds, Nongshim actually is way stronger right now. Because you have Sounder that's sitting on a Radiant Virtue, and both Ilma and Cleaver, if, if Cleaver oh. does it. Oh, hold up. Hook onto Courage. That is going to be Moonlight Vigil, just as a bit of a fun thing to press, uh, I guess. And we do have the Glacial Prison landing, but without all the follow-up damage, you're just not really going to find too much. Still, Nongshim, shred through the health bars, and they should be able to grab Shirley and employ her to take down some of these structures. And this is where we start to see the issues for Kwangdong run deeper than their laning phase. Because... The reason why this team hasn't really been able to get a whole lot of wins is not because they lose every laning phase, it's because of what do they do afterwards. And right now, it's not well, looking great. Pick a Mahal here. Yeah, Cyclone going to come forward there as he presses every button he has, and he will make it to safety. Did he need all of those buttons? Probably could have been fine with just Flash, but I understand not wanting to risk it. First Turblot going over to Kwangdong. Keeping their lead going for now. And you know what? The more I think about it, you know how much Mahal moves with those E's? Yeah, right? He should go he ship. He should go ship. Yeah. Um, we'll see whether he goes for it third item. Uh, I think any time, like, as, as long as you buy it, you know? Like, uh, just buy it. I think that's the way to go. Um, you know, you're body slamming around. You know, you're just having a good time. You know, I just, you know. Slamming I, body. Yeah. Throwing lightning. I reckon it just, it just seems so, like a, a good thing to do. Who's going to win this game? I still think it's probably Kwandong Freaks, but we're going to need to see Bull auto-attack some enemies a little bit better in the next fight. I, I think if the if the next fight is another atrocious one on the side of Kwandong, then I'm probably going to give it to Nongshim, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm happy to give them one more shot uh, to convince me that they're going to be able to follow through. To execute? Yeah. I like that. I'm kind of on board with that. I do think if they lose this next fight, it, it is kind of over because you're down soul point. And you might lose the game before Cleaver actually comes online with this LeBlanc build. We'll see what ends up happening. Sounder definitely not the target to go for. And Calyx, great timing on the weapons there. Red, white. Hey. The moment we hit. Ooh, not going to find the grand entrance there. Is Nongshim still going to get bullied out of this river for the moment? Trying to get some vision in, but control vision is down for Kondong Freaks. As immediately they do back away. Ward's getting over this wall. They look to clear it as best they can. Cleaver heading back towards his distortion. And Kallax just wanting to stay back, clear out these waves over and over again. And the again. debonair gentleman making his way down. And explosive charge damage going to be shared between the members. Oh, no. 
as Cleaver doesn't actually deliver the extra damage to his teammates, feels bad. And that's actually something that... Remember I was talk, uh, talking earlier about the Kai'Sa as all... Oh, Hold up! Might have a little bit of an engage here as the Shreleas was popped. But uh, not too much else going to come out of it as the hook is going to go slightly wide and Double H is going to be out of back away. Do have a control ward over this uh, particular wall as now Sounder flashing looks for Bull who does have to ult but does manage to get it off in time. Now Sounder is going to get punished for it as Kallax is doing his best to fight this one out and they take down the Wukong. Courage is dead and Sounder somehow lived. What the heck? I don't think I've seen Kallax hit a single Moolah Vigil yet, but it doesn't matter as Bull taken out of the fight from the get-go with his ultimate being forced. And call me and Mahal, the solo laners here for Nongshim, putting in some big work, making their way over towards the dragon. And this is such a colossal loss for Kwong Nong here. That is sole point now for Nongshim in a game that they've had almost zero control over. They're only 600 gold behind, and this is going to give them so, so much big. added control. Yeah, it's just massive. I haven't seen anything from Ilima this game either. No. Hasn't really been able to uh, assist the rest of his team in finding any of these angles. Mihail immediately teleports back towards that top side to deal with this, this LeBlanc. It's like sound as combo is fairly slow, but due to the combination of Aftershock as well as uh, Oh, my old guy. Yeah, that's actually the biggest one because otherwise Sauna might have died. But between Aftershock and Radiant Virtue, Sauna doesn't actually end up going down. And the little shield from the lantern. Yeah, yeah, just barely stays alive. Needed all the help he can get, but as a result, Sauna's fine. They can get the Drake, and four Kwangnong freaks still haven't actually found a big win here in the five v five outside of the beginning of the game. The and split is pressure is great, which that's oh, yeah. nice, I guess, but not enough. Uh, Sounder wants to be able to take his red, and I believe he was successful. There we go. Nicely done. Big win. Kallax can gonna go over and collect that one if he would like to, but I think Colmy is also pretty interested in uh, grabbing one. So, Sounder really making his way over. All right, okay. Ilma taking a lot of damage here from Kallax, who's playing very aggressively. Mihail on the flank angle. Call me in a bit of trouble here, but able to offer back oh. a bit of damage there is look at him getting aggressive onto this little Blanc, frustrated about this guy yeah. being annoying in these side lanes and actually playing nicely aggressive, utilizing that Gale Force to get further forward. Stack up the shiv. And it's really feeling like the answer, because because we've seen it consistently now, right? Of the Tristana makes a lot of sense because the moment that Cleaver jumps in anywhere, even if you only get like a, a shift proc, an E, and like one or two autos off, the trade right now is feeling pretty good, right? It's not yeah. like you will win when Cleaver gets a second item. But obviously, in the all in, Tristana is really hard to match. Um, oh, he's just dead. He's just yeah. dead, yeah. What? I don't know. Sometimes um, you press W and it's fine, sometimes you press W and you die. Um, and this was one of those times where you press W and you die, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Cleaver, I, that's why it's Cleaver and not Clever. Really building up to that one as yeah. the Nash gets, uh, gets on here. Ilma does have Flash, does have Ultimate available, so Nongshim needs to respect All the right, engage. Mile, not exactly tanky right now as he does try and take a Lantern ride, and you can see Double H gets him out of dodge. Kallax could be in trouble. He misses yet another Ultimate, but there's a backup AD carry. Both mid laners now AD carries. Death Sentence is exactly what it says on the tin. And Ilima once again going to go down, and every solo lane and the jungle is destroyed on the side of Kwandong Freaks. Only the bottom lane remains, and uh, Nongshim don't seem too scared of it. And I don't know how they're doing it, Chronicler, but they are just I'll destroying Kwandong Freaks now. As it turns out, Kalix doesn't have to be the AD carry, because they have a great AD carry. Yeah, they and do. his name is Colmy. Uh, doing really well on the Tristana here, but my real shout out goes to the man Mahal. Remember at the beginning of the year when all he could do was just exclusively play Cassante? Yeah. And now he's just great at any frontliner. Mahal's actually just a like, really good player, he's, yeah? He's been really. Did uh, you yeah, see still, all of the gameplay that no, Colmy just I, threw I, out? I really ignored it on purpose because <laughs> um, that was just a really big mistake from Cleaver. And accelerating the Tristan is going to make your problems way worse. Already was a substantial gold lead. He is very big. Yeah. And Look now at all the beats he's drawing long, pictures of. As long as Colmy can match, like Cleaver can't actually go for the super uninteractive 
LeBlanc pattern that we've seen, and it works very much the same way. Every time you dash in, throw an E, Q, auto one or twice, and between the Shiv, the or the energized proc in general, and the fact that Kami's ahead, it's not gonna feel amazing. And yeah, I'm just this guy was only a Kasante. That's the only champion he looked good on. And like I've seen him on like one or two other tanks outside the Gragas, also just look look great. Yeah. Gragas is of course like. Even AP Gregs is kind of a hybrid between a frontliner and a. I just realized there's carry. Tristana into Kennen as well. I mean, this is probably one of the most difficult Kennen angles that you can ever find. There's Thresh, yep. so like well, Flay's really annoying. You've got Cask, which is like the worst. You have and then Buster Shot. Yeah. You've got Lantern. If you if you caught some catch someone out, you haven't really caught them out. So. It's really tough, and I also think that Elman just straight up isn't playing that well, uh, because obviously your angles aren't great, but in the laning phase also made a couple of key mistakes. And for Kwondong, can the shivs save them as, oh god, Elman teep, that's, oh, I've seen this before. Yeah. Ooh, that is not good. He is in uh, the bottom although, lane. In this case, you do actually want to contest for this Drake, and getting prio means that you have full move. So we will see them move over, but the problem is, Nongship doesn't actually have to go for this dragon. No, no, they can let that one go because that's the power of Soul Point. It's uh, the ability to get around the map. As Colmy, pretty happy right now, just standing up, autoing this turret. Is now Ilama. Oh my God! Trying to avoid vision. He's on a mission. Looking for that back line. Let's see whether he gets in the hook. He's gonna go wide. The Buster Shot pushes him right on top of Kalix, who just autos down the cannon before he can do anything at all. Oh, Quantnog freaks! This ain't it, team. The rest of the team's there. You have a, you have, oh, okay. Now, if your cannon gets a flank like that, you're all in it. Yeah. Why is the rest of his team standing there watching him go in? This was the time ball. This was the Gale Force Feather Storm do it all. Oh, that was the angle, but instead it is the like Infernal actual, Soul like, going to Nongshu. So, oh, like he Bulls, did actually Gale Force in. He yeah, like, it. No, Bulls going in. Oh, but the then, Cask was pretty good, but. Cask yeah. was good, but like Courage, at this point, you can still go in. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was difficult. There was it a lot was of because cacophony well, were, created by the, the Gragas so and things. It was also, I, I really want to highlight the position that Nongshim had there, because while um, Call Me, Calyx, and, and HH were dealing, and even if HH ended up going down, Call Me and Calyx were both fine. While they were positioned in dealing with the cannon, the rest of Nongshim was actually zoning away, because the position of Mile and Sounda, there actually wasn't that great of an angle, unless, like, Kurch flashes over the wall and, and ults, which I actually think should have been the angle there. Like, at that point, yeah. like, so many cooldowns were already used dealing with the cannon, so maybe that's what you go for, because Exhaust was used, Tristana all was used, Box was used, so that might be the best fight you're going to get, particularly because now they lost Infernal. Yeah, and now it's Infernal Soul. Um, we do have now the uh, Elder coming up in five minutes' time. As, okay, they could kill Call Me here. They do. There we Big. go. Ilma being able to pick up the shutdown, and he was 3.7k ahead. And so now should be a little bit less um, ridiculously ahead than he was prior. Minute and a half on the Baron as Kalix back up AD carry. Um, going to be just tidying up the enemy jungle before they slink back into the fog of war and look to try and set up for the next objective. Okay, it is looking like Nongshim are just winning all of these fights. There is still a chance, though. Quantum Freaks, if they do get Three their bounty. ducks in a row, if they do get their heads together. For Ilama, might have to pay with his life, but, you know, worth... There we go. Um, Double H coming around, misses the hook. Um, Mihail. Body slamming to keep up with this guy, and he pushes him into the wall there. Everfrost to slow him down, and sound up. He'll turn up. That is going to be the Winter's Wrath to lock down the cannon. So now we move up towards the Baron. We get vision, and then see whether and that is going to be contestable by Quantum Freaks. And this is, I think, the key problem that Quang has been facing, and it's really hard when you're losing this much. Uh, it just, the team's just not on the same page. Ilama can't be that far up when the rest of his team is not applying pressure elsewhere. Oh, by the way, um, Chronicler, the Kips is back. Welcome back, Kips. I thought that you'd just abandoned us after, um, after Quid, Quid left. left. Yeah. Um, so really glad that you're, uh, you're, you're coming back hanging out. He's starting. Uh, he's going to start. I think he's in. He's been streaming a lot. And I'm really excited to see how he does. Yeah. In the I assumed that, that Kips would just be an LCS fan from now on. Oh, no. I 100% I agree. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but thankfully back here, you know, slumming it with us. Um, yeah. Before he moves on to quitter and better things. So crack the Genji keeps getting. Yeah, I mean, Pays is, is, a, is a special boy. Um, Pays is, I, I think that um, he's probably been the most impressive uh, new talent that we've seen since the Showmaker, Chobi, you know, Griffin, uh, yeah. Darmon era, right? Yeah, no, it's unreal. It's actually, um, the fact that I said that without saying Canyon's name makes me feel a bit dirty, so I'm gonna say Canyon now as well. As oh, teleport in, all right, we we're looking for a flank Double angle. This TP. Baron is really dead, but is the fight gonna be they concluded? Know. Oh, Mihail, you got Buster Shot gonna be so beautiful here to deal with the cannon, tanked up by Sounder Forever. That is a dead Rakan, as Courage was trying to get towards the Gragas, but he's gonna die on his way over. Cleaver, that was a cute use of his little decoy, but man, that is Baron, that is kills, and that should just be game over here. And there's nothing that I think Quang Nung can do from here on out. At the very least, gonna lose mid and top inhibitor. And Quang Nung, after what was a great early game, not even the power of the shivs can help them out here. Well, the best way to battle shivs is with a Tristana, who also has a shiv and does very, very well into your cannon that uh, has really struggled to get anything done this game. Started off getting solo killed by the Gragas and ended off uh, being buster shotted and thrown around like a ragdoll, unable to really get anything done as... Wow, Handle just explodes as he was getting into the team fight. Oh my goodness. Cyclone getting a little bit of work done as Bull goes up into the sky for a little while. Gets a Blade Caller, so takes down the Sejuani. But look at Kormi just Goomba stomping. Kwandong Freaks. The next is going to go down. KT Rollster. Okay, call me. That sounds like a bit of fun. And it's Nongshim that walks away with the victory. Double mid laner. No worries. I don't want to. I don't want to overreact. But um, this is the second iteration of G2. Clearly. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call yeah. me showing that if your mid laner is good enough. You don't have to hit ultimates as a Felios. I don't want to overreact either, but I think that Shiv is actually just not very good, honestly. Like, yeah, uh, no, everyone's just building, sucks. like, so many yeah. Shivs, and it's just not a really good item, so... It's, uh, you know, um, what can you say? Sometimes you read on the internet that it builds good, and, and then it just doesn't work. And that's not your fault. You didn't, like, play it wrong. Um, actually, it's just the fact that the Man. internet was wrong. I'm sad I couldn't vote for Mahal. Oh, I, I haven't I, voted at all. I, 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 I wanted to. But it is to. Mahal. No, I, I went. I, I was a call me voter. Oh, I'm a I'm a Mahal voter. That's actually I'm 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 kind of jealous of you. Um, yeah, definitely was the call. Sorry. Uh, yes. Sorry. There we go. I I I, I typed it wrong because I used my right hand to do so. Um, but we got. I there. thought it was to call you. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call me, please. <laughs> Um, Kormi did a lot of damage. Um, 10k more than Static Shiv LeBlanc. Tells a few stories, some of them nice, some of them not so nice. And Nongshim just cruising towards victory in the end. Quantum Freaks, I really thought, fashioned a decent composition outside of the fact that Wukong existed within it. Um, and, you know, Kennen into Gragas and Tristana really... could have been hard, but the way that you thought it could function, I mean, it's very good at stopping Aphelios from having a good time, right? If you can get towards him and the Thresh, so... Could have been a thing, it wasn't in the end. And maybe, just maybe, people will stop ever picking Wukong ever again. It just makes me sad, Chronicler. It just, it I'm doesn't give think, winning to teams. So what is the, what is the, the ultimate Jin, like? Karma, at, yeah, Jin, Wukong. Karma, Wukong. Jin, Karma, bottom lane, Wukong jungle, then mid lane Syndra. Okay. Uh, and then top lane, nah. That would that be do, that, that does, would be that the does, worst that composition does sound ever. Really bad. Yeah, it's like so basic. So I think that is my least favorite set of five champions. Probably. Back in the day, it would have been Aatrox top lane that would have joined Man, that. I'm so that happy was largely though. LS. I think that games like this really show why we're getting the Shiv buff. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think Shiv's really. It's really struggling. A lot of people like trying to force it to work. Hey. As Call Me will pick up the POG. Delta Tower two. There we go, we 20K. made it over 20k! Glorious stuff. And that's why we did it here. Only our 955 DPM, which is a little bit of a shame. And you can see, Call Me himself is nonplussed about the whole situation. Kind of wishes that he could do uh, 1000 DPM. Uh, but it's all right, we're gonna get smiling Call Me in his next POG. I guarantee it. We'll grab a different photo and he'll be doing over 1000 DPM. Call Me.
maybe the strongest player that we've uh, seen today with is Tristana. I've been a great fan. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Yeah. And the highest Delta Tower, which I think is huge. Do you think that maybe you're more likely to vote for Call Me because his name is like half of a Carly Rae Jepsen song? I would rather not comment. <laughs> <laughs> Stop commenting! <laughs> okay, stop comment. It's time to stop comment. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. It's not time to stop oh. comment yet. However, I think no, that I, it may have played a part. Uh, it, it, it might have. I, I, I do think that it was... He did 40% of his team damage. Yeah, it's a lot I of mean, damage. But, like, to me, Call, uh, Call Me and Mao were the two options. Sounda had some okay fights, but I don't think his game was that impressive. And then, obviously, bot lane was kind of all over the place. A lot of missed skill shots. Yep, it was a bit of a problem, but there is a game to make up for it. Let's go to a short break. When we get back, possibly the final game of the night, unless Quantum Freak has something to say about it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Delta K Challenger 2023 Summer. I'm Altus. This is Kranikla. And we are turning signs over. No, don't look at my no, sign. That is not illegal. Ready. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that we showed that sign. I didn't even know what it said. I'm sure it said something that uh, someone was embarrassed about. Um, maybe asking one of the players out on a date, perhaps. We'll just have to see. Maybe it was addressed to one of the uh, commentators. Maybe... It was something said positively about Quanong Freaks that the fan is then um, a little bit sad about and so therefore did not want to be on camera. There could be a few things about that. Maybe it's like, Quanong Freaks, please win game one, otherwise you're definitely going to lose. And that would, be, um, that would be awkward because now, according to that fan, if that's what the sign said, they would definitely lose. We will see whether that actually does occur um, as we're up to game number two and they lost game one. They did have a LeBlanc. She did have a Shiv. She was inside lane sometimes, but the rest of the team kind of collapsed. They had... Uh, do you know what I thought was the biggest problem, Chronicler? And correct me if I'm wrong. But I think... Is it not enough Shivs? No, I think in, in team fights, if your Zaya doesn't ever auto-attack, you don't do that much damage in team fights. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously... I think Bull individually didn't play that great, but to me, what really kind of gets me about Guangdong, and, and this is something that a lot of weaker teams in whichever league you look at struggle with. It's like, it's just so painfully clear that no one's ever on the same page. Mm. And and it's better to be collectively wrong. Because this is a lot of team and challengers. Like, what you do doesn't have to be good, but you need to do it together. That's true. And Guangdong, like, half the time, it's like, uh, do we go, I, I guess... Uh, 
What do maybe. you what do you call a moonlight vigil that doesn't land? Because a vigil is like you have to be um, stalwart and you have to stay. Well, right? we, can, like, we can just call it the Calyx. Yeah, <laughs> because would, like, would it be like a moonlight go home? He, he actually, I think he did. He, did he hit a single one? <laughs> Um, I don't remember any of them. I don't hit, remember so no. any of them hit. Um, oh, hang on. Atlas, you didn't answer me months ago. Is New Zealand just a weird Australia? <laughs> isn't isn't I it don't understand Australia? what that means. No. Uh, well, yes. Um, sort of. Um, it is just New Zealand and Australia is Australia. They are different places. It's huh. just like if, if I was to ask you whether, um, you know, uh, like... Is Canada just a weird America? <laughs> and it's not. Just harsh a weird today. USA, sorry. Oh, no, we, we're, we're, we can be harsh on Calix because he is not playing in his own position. He is not. He is not. So we're, we're, but we're also harsh on Quantum Freaks, mainly because they haven't been playing very well. And I think that you have to call a spade a spade when a spade is being a spade, you know? And Quantum Freaks spading pretty well. Well, I think you can also call him a shovel. Because frankly, oh, I don't know the difference. Yeah, they are basically the same, and uh, I, I think that we're we're happy to stand by, to stand by that. I think a, a shovel is a little bit more um, like uh, bowly. Um, I sure. don't know whether bowly is a word. Anyway, uh, Bai and Lucian have both been taken away here as Nongshim are on the blue side. Um, we Lucian have back. the uh, Nico and Yumi. Konofri selecting for the red is uh, is interesting. Interesting is the right word. Yeah, because they've, they've swapped sides thinking so, that we'll mix it up. And I kind of, I respect it. We ban Cassante. Ooh, a shovel is a big spade, apparently. Mm. That's according to the Kips. And he's a, you know, he's he's a resident um, quid enjoyer, so we should trust him. There is... What about a trowel? That's a small spade. Zero correlation between these two statements, and I, I really appreciate that about you. Yeah. No, I mean, that's... that's. Oh, we're banning... So, do we Zeri or do we Cassante? Well, it's or Mahal. Or do we Ophelis? It's Mahal, so... Yeah. He's going to 1v9, isn't he? 100%. Um, he, well, he's going to Cassante. Um, what that means, we'll have to find out we've when we get into Cassante the video. We've seen Cassante lose. I know. And uh, we've seen Mahal lose on Cassante as well. I think he was like a 50% win rate uh, last time around. But every game, he cassante and he cassante <laughs> hard. cassante Very hard. He so went, he went real, really into Athelios, it. Any Athelios, probably? On the up hit? Yeah, or Annie Sedge. Wouldn't mind Annie Sedge. That's all right. But denying, Annie Ophelios makes a fair bit of sense. Denying Cassante does seem like a good idea. And uh, so what do we do here? Ziggs? I, I really want Ziggs. And also, it actually works. Like Ziggs Tristana? Oh, yeah. No, that's Ooh. not Ziggs That's That's Zeri that's into Zeri. Ophelios. That, that we dislike. Zeri Lulu, maybe? Could be a Lulu angle. We'll see whether Calyx brings out the AP Zeri build, which, I mean, I we don't have to because it's 13-11. Yeah, the Sejuani makes complete sense. It's really good into Ophelios, can force Gil Forces or Flances, uh, Flashes or Cleanses. Flances? So a Flanche is like a Dutch crap. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh, that's not what I was going for. Like but a Dutch I, it, it, skinny pancake. It is, Just yeah. in case so, thought you said you also, else. So, so you have Dutch, you have Dutch pancakes, which are thinner than American ones, but thicker than crepes. Okay. And then you have flanches, which are very thin, like more sugary ones, which are actually just crumbs. Cool. Well, there we go. Today I learned. Renekton has been locked in. That is Ilima's answer to the Cassante, uh, apparently. Cassante doesn't necessarily be going into the, uh, need to be going into the top lane, um, but it is Mihail, so we're almost guaranteed uh, that that's where it's going. <laughs> the Kips, they're not picking Renekton support. It's not better Rakan. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Uh. I swear, man. <laughs> No, I think I that's probably it. I think they may have realized the truth. I think the kids <laughs> might be onto it. I think, like, especially if you go pool party Renekton, and you just start, like, sitting up there on the, on ah, the little high chair yeah. over and over again, doing that bouncy bounce. Love so, to see it. Oh, I do like the Tristana band a lot. Chronicler also sets shift. Trist isn't going to shift, so what does he know true? That is that's true. That's a very justified call out. But we all know that I am the, the analyst. Um... The Atlantalist. The Atlantalist is is here to save the day. <laughs> uh, as um, okay, there is uh, the Syndra to be banned away, so I'm going to be spared from one of my uh, least favorite um, compositions that you could possibly have. And in fact, none of the the bad things have been locked away. Love to see it. Did see a bunch of Jin yesterday, and he was winning. It was very sad. 
very sad. I was watching um, Valdez and can't Wolf, wait. and can't they wait were for R4 Wukong. Oh God, don't it's do it. It's happening. Oh, it's R5 Wukong. I hope you like that. It is probably going to be R5 Wukong though, because so it's, it's another fresh, Wukong right? Wukong. Fresh air is kind of meh. That though. seems mid. Um, it's probably Nautilus, right? I guess. Yeah, that works. Lockdown. Sure. So it's Nautilus. What are you going mid here? Um, let's go. Shiv Ari? Ari seems good. Well, you don't go Shiv, but just Ari seems like it would work very well. You might be lacking some damage though. Oh yeah, I think. Oh my God! It's wait. Mid Nautilus with Shiv. It's there's. No, no. Sh sh Shivalous. I do really like uh, the Leona. Although I do think the matchup has gotten worse now that Rakan is way more built and sustain. <laughs> and Ooh, it's Shazir. Just... <laughs> you guys can't see, but I'm looking at Atlas <laughs> in a way that he enjoys. Uh, T1 Chronicler knows. Your T1 version, he understands. Uh, supporters here, one of my favorites. I'm um, really looking forward to seeing how it goes hey! here. Hey, big, big Wukong! Hey, it's Azir, there's no way that backfires. Any 2 0 enjoys <laughs> in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> we went from. I'm losing it! Yeah, yeah, we went. It, this is the beautiful thing, you know? We went from, like, let's pick oh Cannon into Gragas Tristana you to let's pick, pick Wukong into you can Azir. Pick, you can pick Maokai. You can pick, like, Fiego is great. Fiego, Annie, and Renekton in the top side with Rokan. Yeah, I know, but you don't need courage to pick, pick something good. You need courage I, to pick something bad. He has the courage to pick Wukong in this spot <laughs> because that's oh. what the composition wants, right? You've got a Rakan. And it's difficult to pick Wukong into the enemy composition, but it's easy to pick Wukong into your own composition. So he has to look away from the enemy team. He has to look away and deny them. He needs to look into himself. He does, and he needs to find the courage the to courage, pick the Wukong. The courage. Imagine if he had a mid laner called Within, and it was the courage Within. Oh, that oh. would be beautiful. Cleaver, give me that rename. Nah, we don't, because so... we've already got a player called Forrest. <laughs> I just don't want to promote it. As all right, Nongshim versus <laughs> Kwandong Freaks. <laughs> uh, I like the Nongshim composition. I especially like Mihail on Kasante. I kind of want to vote for POG now before we even get into the game, because he's very, very good at this champion. Um, some low range uh, on the side of Kwandong Freaks, but if Bull can find it in himself to hard carry this game, he does have the added assistance from a lot of uh, so, shorter range, but a large amount of CC from his teammates. Hey, Rakan Annie Wukong is great for team fighting. It's very good, Atlas. It's a lot of upfront power. Wrinkle to Kinkle's worried about you. I, yeah, I. It's day one. <laughs> <laughs> day one of five. Oh, right, yeah, that's true. I was like, wait, it's not day one. Like, well, it's, it's day it's two of Challengers, weeks. but it's day one of, of my It's day one of, of you and me on Challengers. Oh, baby. You know, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why your sanity is uh, really vacating. Let's rock out, though, for a little. Hell yeah. Man, I, I rocked out for a little bit of extra time just because I enjoyed it so much. Double H, though, did not go for the correct skin. This is the Marta skin from many moons ago. Not a huge fan of it. I think we are going to have zero shivs in this game. Don't be like that. I, I think that's what's happening. I see a Zeri. I see an Aphelios. I see an Annie. Um, even I'm not crazy enough to go I see an Azir. Um, hey, he wants to build a tech speed now. No, this is the, like you put the you put the soldiers behind you so you can eat of them, and then you order the, you order the person in front of you, right? Gives you that so, added safety, baby. Obviously, Nashers is great now. Don't go Shiv. Oh, Don't yeah. do it. It's Crown Nashers. Crown Nashers has uh, proven to be the better build. Um, BDD went for double mask. Uh, he won, but it wasn't great. And then he switched to the uh, the Crown build, and he looked fantastic. Um, we don't like promoting Crown just in general, um, but it does allow you to get a few autos off 
very, very complicated. Also, you place. are an emperor, so it actually, you know, Wearing thematic, a crown does make sense, yes. It does, yeah, for a thematic consistency. HH and Hook Champions just... You know how you have a match made in heaven? Yeah. That's not it, man. I don't know, like, match made in hell sounds corny, but it's not. It's the opposite. Yeah. It's maybe it's just a match not made. It's not a match. Or a divorce waiting to happen. I guess. Yeah, that, that would work. But that would imply that he already married the Yeah, champion. well, I mean, he, he has. He, he, as you can see, we're here. Um, as Andal knows that he's about to hit level two, able to uh, just walk up and try and push out Kalix and Double H, who are understandably um, struggling a little bit for any form of control in this lane. Sounder. Ooh, like the bailout Ooh, gank. Oh, here we go. That's a hook. That's going to connect there onto Andal, who battle dances away. And Double H may just die as Bull, laning quite nicely so far. Not a lot of potions remaining here for this Nautilus. When the bailout gank leads to Ooh. the bot lane kind of getting boomed, things are not good. Ooh. Look at this brave maneuver by Courage oh to head gosh. towards this bottom side of the map. No vision available. They will have to dive, but they do have another and wave conga oh, lining in. They won't know. And now they know that Sound is nowhere near. They oh, also okay. some are available though. This is a bit risky. Yeah, Kalix is gonna dash away out of the first one as Andal. He's gonna get flashed on that burst fire. Is just straight up going to miss, and that means Courage can get out of there. He gets first blood, but he will go oh, down. Sounda. Yeah, Sounda now looking for it. Andal is pretty mobile as Sounda realizes there are juicy minions to be locked down here, and the jungler will get a bit of added experience alongside Double H. Let's have a look at it again. Problem here is that if you don't like, if you don't lock down Kalix, which you don't really have a way to outside of Andil, he's always going to E out of the grand entrance, which means that you're diving without Heart CC, which becomes very tough. Juggle isn't great, and Courage ends up going down, and that makes it from a, you know, like a great play into really rough. Because even though you are gold positive because you get the first blood, yep. you do lose out on a substantial amount of farming time as Sounda is going to help out the shove here. And you also give a kill to Zeri. Yeah, it's subpar. But you do give a kill to Wukong, who needs all the help he can get in this game sure. in order to function correctly. And uh, it might be the difference maker. Uh, in this game. As you can see, Mahal actually struggling a little bit here in this lane, despite it not really affecting the CS margins. You can see the health bars certainly are not exactly the greatest here for the Cassante. Can do some funny business, and he's also extraordinarily difficult to dive, as we know. As oh, the grand entrance going to come through the hook. Not going to quite find Kalix, who skates over the wall. He will be K. Call me! Will you be K? Is the question. The answer is, yeah, he's going to be fine. He's going to be able to go home, teleport back, but does have to use the flash. As Courage, getting around this map quite nicely on the Wukong. Maybe I should take it all back. Well, he's level three, so we'll see whether Saunik can deny. He does have smite, so he should be able to get at the very least the big Raptor and is going to catch up a little bit now as Mahal just sticking around here. That's risky, particularly against Renekton. Does have two cookies. Yeah. Might be forced to use them. And this is Cassante, so wouldn't be surprised if we see Mahal get a solo bolo in like... Uh, I don't know, 30 seconds. We'll see. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll have to keep tabs on the Cassante situation. This hook is going to connect there. Is Double H taking so much damage. Kalix tries to offer something back, but he's not really capable of it. As Sound is like, well, now you've lost all your health, Double H. I don't he know how really I'm supposed to come back. in for anything. Sound hasn't back yet, and he's sitting on like almost 40 farm. So he, unless there is a guaranteed play, he really can't afford to stick around here, and he doesn't know that there's no vision in the river, and the gank definitely could have worked out. Although, with a bull, his flash still available, and they'll be in Rakan. It's by no means guaranteed, and... What I think this really does for Nongshim is make them appreciate how good Jibu is, and that is a... Yeah. That's a valuable lesson, and that's no dig towards Kalix. Um, but just I a mean, reaffirmation is, uh, of how good he's a good player. He's really good, yeah. <laughs> Um, but Courage going to be, uh, once again, um, paying some attention here to this Drake as Andal's going to move up and look to help him out. Uh, Extendo Beam does a bit of damage there to Courage, as we can see. And they do have full information. Of course, Hextech Drake does a bit more than the others as far as damage is concerned, but you can see that they should be able to still clear it. 
uh, as they're looking to get rid of vision. Don't want this one stolen away from them a lot, uh, as we can see. And Bull just going to go for a cheeky little back sounder. Getting around the enemy jungle. And a few of these camps are going to oh, be respawning God. very, very soon. And oh. wow, this Drake is taking about 400 years to go down. Um, eventually it does get taken there. And Sounder is going to uh, continue eradicating the enemy jungle of any of these camps and uh, potential money. Yeah, that took a really long time. Also, I don't know why we're talking. Obviously, HH is just a soul bound to an armor. Well, that's, that's true. Empress Divide going to come through. That is going to be the flash out from Cleaver here. As Sounder doesn't have ult, he doesn't need it. It's going to grab that kill thanks to a hook from Double H. Big Daddy doing the work. And no, it's Edward. Edward? Yeah, from no, no, Edward Alphonse. Sorry, from um, that was the reference I was making. Oh, is that a Full Metal Alchemist thing? Yep. There cool, I've totally seen that. Totally. Yeah, totally. Actually, I, I know that I'm you've all seen up it. with the Aminanes. Um, Anemones. And very nicely set up collapse here. Straightforward, and unfortunately, Flash gonna be used too late by Cleaver there. Feels bad to preemptive oh. Flash, but. Um, oh no! Big Daddy killed Little Sister. <gasps> Man, that is like. That's, that's dark Bioshock tech that's happening here in this mm. mid lane. Wow. That's, that's wow. not how that's supposed to go. And they're, they're, Sounder they're the caretakers. on a tear. Alex has level 6 available, so I expect Bull and Under to be pretty respectful here. All right, I think they, they have an idea as to what's going on. Another prison going to Narnia. Sounder, his map movement and his fights have been great. His ultimate. No, not great. It's, it's a bit not. umpty esque, isn't it? You it know, really it's is. like you play oh Sidwani God, and you don't need to hit umpty. the ult. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's and why. he is, you know, he's a, he's a great player. And he won that series without hitting an ult, basically. And Sounder kind of doing the same thing here. Actually, maybe no, in the, the LCK, we just call it umpty. Yeah. It's an umpty. Yeah, it's an umpty. Um, and it works. That No, we call it an umpty if you're like, you still win you and win. it's fine um, by missing every ult. And that's kind of how that one works. Glacial Prison's meeting the I, shivs on another map. I it like really it. feels like it's going to be exactly the same game. Like, Kwong is going to get some, some decent ju job done in lane. Maybe they'll get a lead, maybe they'll get like a gang or two. Might be able to pick up an objective. They already got the dragon. They're gonna get very far ahead in bot lane. But then the moment we get to moving around the map and skirmishes, Notion is just gonna kind of run them over. I mean, that is what happened last time. Yeah, well, that's, I'm saying the yeah. same thing will happen. Mm. That's my you, gut feeling. But it's challenging. You could so. be right. I might be wrong. As I've been wrong today already, as we all remember, with when it came to shiving. That's okay. You're the play-by-play. -play. I'm the analyst. It's if I'm wrong. That's when everything uh, gets That's ruined. when I, you know, really as mess up. As Ember's oh, Divide God. going to come on through here as Cleaver is another time very this is, dead. This is, uh, this is flashbacks to when everyone was like, we're going to pick Victor. And like, this is what happens when the Annie doesn't pick Shiv. Like, you wouldn't be there farming the minion wave if you had Shiv. Okay. You... I, Mm. And then you could also, no. like, you get the movement no. speed from the no. fleet footwork so no. that you can avoid the Renekton coming at it. No, no, you're supposed to say yes because I'm the analyst. You're supposed okay. to just agree with me. Well, you... No, it's, no, you're not. I yeah. know, isn't that just wrong on so many yeah. levels? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, like, the, 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 the flip joke is fine, but no, you're supposed to have a discussion. Uh -huh. You're supposed to not blindly agree with everything. Also, you definitely don't blindly agree no, with everything. No, I don't. I but I'm not a very good play by play. As, all right, Sound is going to land an ult. He landed an ult. Did, did you it? see? Did and you and see? Oh, wait, was that on a is fake he? Wukong? I don't know. He's dead. What? As now, Call Me is also dead. The quickness came through, got a fair bit. Oh, never mind. He's not dead. The turret's in trouble, and he is dead now, so never mind. I should have uh, held on to the first point oh, there. Is, uh, we got a couple of plates that are going to go down as well. Why did they? That was two versus three. Why did they go back in? Well, I mean, silly billies could be an explanation. <laughs> it's just a little bit of tee hee -ing. Yeah, a bit of tee hee <laughs> And now Quantum Freeze at 2,000 gold ahead. So now, who spot, did sound a hit with the ult? spot Rakan. Well, he actually... Uh, he did. He, yeah, he hit Courage. So he actually stayed alive for a really long time. So, and then he wants to deny the charge. Uh, ah, he got baited he by in. Spinny Shelly. Yeah, but like, even if you do, then you die. And then also your teammate dies, and you know Rakan is there with ult, so not the best of decision making, and I haven't finished my sentence, or Nongshin make a questionable call. And maybe, just maybe, it's a six game day. Ooh, could be. 
Um, don't want to hold my breath uh, for that one just yet because we need to see Quandong Freaks with a, you know, real life fair dinkum 5v5. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to see a fair dinkum 5v5. Harold is I, unbreakable. Uh, that is a that is a JoJo reference. That Ooh. is a JoJo reference in my chat. Whoa. Wow. I don't even know what that is. JoJo? The anime? The extremely popular, like, very iconic. No, I, I know what it is. I oh. just don't know what the reference is. Oh, no, it's uh, one of the seasons. It's like season four of JoJo. Diamond is ah. unbreakable. But it's Harold. Is a, Diamond unbreakable or is it just really hard? Now Ilma could be in trouble here as he's going to flash. Mahal just needs to uh, try and land a few more abilities but doesn't have a dash. I a weird thing to say about a Kasante is now Sounder. Sounder. Him. Yeah. Um, Can he end Oh, that's the or question. W. There it is. He lands Three the ultimate. And uh, it's not quite enough. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. Going to land and Sounder finishes it off. That's a solo kill, baby. Um, well, I mean, it's not. It's mainly Mahal. But that's fine. They're going to get it. Um, courage enough. on a ward. But we'll be able to get this Drake. A couple of Drakes collected here for Kwanong Freaks is good news for them. As Mahal just uh, taking all the crockery from this top lane. And look at this. It's a red buff for the Wukong. Look at that. And also, Mega Cones. A lot of scrying, mm, things Mega like Cones. that. Oh, man. Someone Mahal. call Valdez Please and leave. tell him not to watch. Or do, if you like taunting him. Yeah, that could work. As the troubles of Kalex all continue, although in the previous game, you know, missing those Aphelios ultimates, pretty much on him. In this one, I don't think you should pick Zari into Aphelios if you don't know the matchup very well. Because I think you can win that matchup, but I do think it's very player reliant. As Call Me. About Ooh. to get ganked here. Does have his ultimate available, but Cleaver has to set up. Yeah, there's the Emperor's Divide. Actually, great reaction time from Call Me here. Just says, please leave. Did he know? Did they like spot? Oh, they did yeah. actually spot him on the on the red buff. So he kind uh, of had a suspicion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, had the ultimate ready and is completely fine. As it looks like Call Me is going to go, maybe, perchance, a BDD build that Ooh. we're about to witness here. Don't know whether I like it that much, but would be fine as uh, Cleaver taking a bit of damage here from the Azir, who yes, is a bit like a fine wine these days. I'm going to continue uh, just getting better and better. I really like new Azir, where it's like, it's a scaling mage, and what it does is it scales, and it doesn't just win every lane early yeah. as Pryo permanently. Turns out that that's a lot more fair. Man, Kips really hates Nash's Tooth. I really like the item. I don't even care if it's bad. I just like the item them thematically, you know. Maybe it's because I'm like a Diana player. And I really like playing Diana. Have Maybe. you tried Voli Baron Asher yet? Oh, no, but that, you sounds, that sounds glorious. It but is wait, do you build it after Shiv or before? You don't Shiv. You build Riftmaker and Nashers. No, I don't understand what you mean. Can you go back to that? What did you say? You don't build Shiv. No, sorry, I don't understand. You don't build Shiv. Uh, you, do not, you do not build Static Shiv. No, you go, um, no. You go no. Rift. No. You make Rift. No. Make Rift. No. Make thunder Rift. Claws needs more Thunder on the Claws. Make Chronicle. Rift. Teef Nasher. <clears throat> this is why I'm the analyst. Hook going to connect. As All right. They land the Glacial Prison as well. Courage just going to try and slink away. And he does so. He's lit on fire. And a potential re-engage could come through. But he doesn't have the Cyclone because of the mid lane mess up. Shirley going to make her way back to the pit, though. And now we do have a slight I reset opportunity. And the Cyclone just back off cooldown. I'm, I'm going to make myself look a little silly here. Um, Volleybear should let's, definitely let's, go No, first, no, no. I, 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 we'll, we'll wait because we're going to get a fight here. The flank coming through. Courage is on vision. Big old teleport. Yeah, exactly. Courage going to be spotted as he tries to make his way forward. That's some good knockups as Ilima is just massive. They mop the floor with the Nautilus. But Emperor's Divide is fantastic. It sets up so much space for the Courage. Zarya's Bull. Has to get the hell out of there. Kalex trying to pop off. He gets stunned, but it does not matter. And it's a double kill for the true auto attack carry of this team. Call me. And Kalix shows that you don't have to be an AD carry to play Zeri. Svaldus is here. There is definitely not a Kemtech yeah. soul. I okay, want to say, smile. So, Hopefully no Kemtech soul in this so, game. Smile. So going, so going into this, I just realized that Nasher's tooth is a tooth from the barrel. Yeah. I, I've been watching League of Legends 
for like 11 years and I never drew that conclusion. Well, and it also doesn't look anything like a 2. Well, so. no, but but like I, I feel like I should have known that, that that was the same Nasher and I never did. No? Um, and you're a European, so you say Nasher yeah. all the time. Whereas we yeah. just say Baron. On the yeah, other no, side I, I, of the pond. I had, I never, never linked the two. Crazy, crazy, absolutely crazy. Well, now I we know. know. I'm the lore guy. You know, usually yeah. I'm, I'm kind of on top of stuff like this. Do you know? Do you know what a Ginsu is? Uh, that is a person. It is indeed. Yeah, Those Ginsu's is a, is a person. I know that. I think Shirelia is as well. Yep, Shirelia is. I think Shirelia was a rioter. Yeah. Whereas Ginsu was a. Someone that initially helped with the game or something, I can't remember. There was a list of names, though, on the wall of the, the people that helped uh, collaborate, mm. and uh, they did oh, get Megacone! Names in the game. It's okay, Megacone, going to bring uh, Sounder directly on top of Courage, but Courage stands stalwart. He is able to not get afraid <laughs> of things. This is Call me really going in for the build here with <laughs> Leandri's Morello. Oh, <laughs> He's God. He's gaining hard. And there is a lot of... There is a lot of Healing on the enemy team. To is be there? Completely fair. Yeah, between Aphelios with Rad quill. Guns. Yeah. Oh, no, there's also a Dominus. Yeah. with Gore Drinker That's and true. Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cull the Drinker is uh, definitely a good one. There's combo. also Courage with Sunderer. True. Who heals a lot. Uh -huh. Glacial Prison going to come through, and you can see Courage actually able to get himself out of a sticky situation. Call me. Going to be dealing with a very angry bear who will be able to finish him off. But there is the uh, large amount of money going into the back pockets of Nongshim as they kill Tibbers and Annie. That's a 350 baseline, you know what I'm saying? As Kallax is going to come on over and uh, look to tend to his mid lane. As we do have the first rake being taken of the Chemtech variety. This one going to be lapped up by Nongshim Red Force. They will be able to connect, collect that one themselves. Now, Double H escorting Kwangdong Freaks oh God. towards Kwangdong. this pit. No! Kwangdong, you're a member down! Oh dear. Well, Andal gonna get stunned up momentarily here as uh, Death Charge on top of Bull. And Mihail looking for an opportunity. Ilma kind of massive, but that is a uh, Moonlight not so vigil. What? Call me! What? What is happening? What are we doing? Where are we going? Why are we going there? It seems like a mistake as Sounder is super tanky, but not tanky enough to be by himself in amongst a billion people. Wow, Ilma, that was a move you could make. And he made it, but it was not the greatest of moves as far as outcome is concerned. <laughs> Um, take it away, take it away, Chronicle. You can do it. Go, go, go. Challengers. <laughs> that's that's Challengers, baby. Oh, why why was Comey there? Why was Kwangdong engaging? I don't know. Why why did why did Kling do you know why? Flash into a bunch I know of people. Why. I know why. why I know why. Bulma I know why. Did Nulti? It's why did Mega Cones? I, <laughs> mega Cones. <laughs> Um, that that's the problem here. I think it's the Chemtech I love rift. Challengers so much, but like <laughs> everything from, like, uh, well, how often is it a correct decision to all out a Renekton into your team? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> to, is not often that the that is a good move. To teleport behind multiple people, almost going down. He's gonna finish his Morellos. Yeah, I'd like to use a lifeline <laughs> to work out this game. I don't have the answer. I'm sorry, Eddie. I love this. Yeah, this is. There is only two responses to this. It's either a very visceral, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Or you, or you, or you get it, and you're just. You in. just kind of, you have to accept. And this is, this is Challenger. We can't have expectations that go beyond. This should be insane. <laughs> and, and it is. And it is. And yeah. like this is the expectation that needs to happen. And it's actually, it's on us if we expect anything other oh. than craziness. Oh, they don't know. Wait, oh, now they, they know. Oh, Piggy! Megacone! Megacone! Through the wall, out of there! Easy peasy. That's Megacone. some Zoid stuff right there. Do you see his Liger? That's oiled up and ready to go. Bristle in robot form. Absolutely nailing it. <laughs> at everyone, at Brendan Valdez. Oh, <laughs> Ilma, sweetie, no. Uh, well, he is going to get slowed down a little bit, um, but does go big. As look at his mini wave. Absolutely destroyed. Walking slowly towards the uh, the Zeri, who's who's trying to get some auto attacks in there. And there he go. Burst fire coming on through. And uh, and that's that's a that's a shoe. That's a shoe that they created. Handbag. You know, you use crocodile skin for a lot of different things, you know, crocodile leather. Um, so could have made himself a wallet to put all that extra cash that he just put together for himself in.
There we go. Um, has Quantum Freaks ever won a game within they a have. match? They have won a game. I, I mean, don't know how many, but not a lot. No, they but are zero won and four um, outside of that um, that whole situation. As far the as matches are concerned, not doing super well. The Kip's still on his propaganda. <laughs> well, we're next in the top lane. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would be weird if he had a, a better role to be in. Surely. He's talking about mid, right? Mid, obviously, yeah. yeah. Um, Renekton, mid middle. Middle. Yep. And then uh, you, you you play something else. Hey, Courage, you have one job. One mission. One man. Monkey Is it pressing stands. the smite button? Yeah. Well, then, not going to have an opportunity for that. Glacial Prison doesn't really do too much here as Courage. Able to flash away Blake. in the end. Cleaver. Double H. Oh, Cleaver. Moonlight Vigil somehow missed. Everyone was there. Everyone. All the time was there. You missed it. Oh, God. As Cleaver. Oh, he's going to have to flash away as well. He was looking for that flank angle, but then the flank angle found him. The flanker looks within the flank and realizes that it is him getting <laughs> flanked, Atlas. As Nongshim are completely fine. And oh, no, oh, no, well, no, um, no, 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 no. Sound is just here. He's popped out of nowhere. The Wait. Liger came out of stealth. The That's really crazy. I didn't see that episode. What about the turn? Okay. No, there's no turn. Okay. Well, what about it? So, mm -hmm. the hit rate for Aphelios Ultimates in this series is not high. Uh, outside <laughs> of the, the upgrade in Glacial Prison, that, so, that has definitely yes. started well, hitting more. That is that that one has we we found I think we found the right unique and the that moonlight one now, going home that is one definitely is, really <laughs> starting to trend. That one is now guaranteed hit. You know, it's point and click. So sound actually doing some good grinding, yep. getting his yep. unique. So now that hits every yeah. time. But bull, not yet. No, that that glyphs level one, hundred uh, um, percent. He needs to run some nightmare dungeons, yeah. man. He needs to he needs to definitely click on the extra intelligence nodes on his paragon board. Let's just say that. Um, make sure that he gets up to that twenty five to activate the secondary property. Six game day, please. Chat, it's not happening. Well, Silent it's, Ninjax. It's Challenger. So okay. Ooh, Silent Ninjax is a fun name. This is how we get I that. I like it. I think the X is Silence. Is it? No, it's he's a Jax main. Um, Silent Ninjax. It's oh, like a Ninja courage. Jax. A man monkey oh, with a dream. You have to be brave to go for a play like this. Be a monkey. You must be swift as a coursing monkey. Be a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to do it. With all the force. Oh, no. He's oh, he's, uh, he's mega cone. That's so dangerous. <laughs> okay. Well, he's still going to survive for the moment as another glacial prison will connect onto Ilima this time, who's flashing away. And now it's Rakan's turn to hop inside the blender. Courage is out. He's back what? in. They kill the Zeri, but they managed to take down the jungler. Still, call me. is kind of massive. And Mahail is on his he's champion, Kassante. ladies and gentlemen. He's Kassanteing, if that is even an adjective, as the Sand Soldiers are looking to tear them apart. Oh, it's just a poor little Annie, but she will be Kassanteed into the ground because Mahail takes no prisoners. And Kuang Dong got Kalix, but what did it cost? Everything. All of them, yeah. Yeah, big time all of them. And uh, and now Nongshim, uh, just going to get to work on Baron. Count the teeth. Um, as, of course, no Nash's Tooth has been completed here by Kormi. He's just got a couple of masks. A book. Inside the book, it says what to build on Azir. And not these items is generally uh, what is written there. He's like, dang it. Should have checked the book um, before I built the book. Um, but as it turns out, once you've got the book, you then learn that the book's wrong. So it has to be the next game. So the, the start of the fight, not great. And then Cleaver is able to take out Kami for a little bit. And then here, the re-engage. Ando is really trying. Like, really trying, man. Ilamai I mean, is Courage as well. Out. Like, that re-engage attempt shenanigans was almost good. Yeah, but then, like, they don't actually win the fight and uh, Bull is dead, and then Mahal gets the Kassante. Which... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, the, thing that, the thing that's great, though, is that what we're learning is that sometimes it's just it's just fun. Like, League of Legends is a fun game, man. It's just real, I, it's having just a good fun, time. Man. It's just a video it's about, game. Like, it's, it's a vibe, and, and like, it's like feeling it, and like you play it, and then like sometimes and you all die, and sometimes you, know, you win a team fight, and like it's a bit of a, when, it's a flip When sometimes, you want to you know? go in and you just do it. You don't yeah. think, just go in. Yeah. Yeah, just like, oh, should I go in? No, no. doesn't matter. No, you it just doesn't. go. Whoa, he went Dutch. 
Yeah, no, that's the that's point. When you know, that's when Not you know thinking. things have gone off the we rails. We just go in Atlas. Yes, well, um, that's that's what they've been doing. Oh, as, the oh, flank. Oh, God. The flanking Annie. He's going to force it this time as no. the Tibbers gets altered away. He will go golden as now Courage is trying to keep himself alive, but he's running for the hills. Courage, that does not work with your name whatsoever as Rakan is going to be the victim of the whole scenario. Bull is destroyed. Kallax will lock down that kill. And now it's looking like the end of this game. Nongshim will be your victor. is 2-0 as well. And who the heck do we give the POG to? Is Courage oh, I know. gonna be flashing away? You know, you There's know who only it is. One man, and he is up in the sky. It's our boy Maha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna vote for Sounder because his ultimate started working in the end. There we go, Sounder, the calibrator of glacial prisons. <laughs> Nongshim will take down the Nexus. What a silly series of video what games, but I enjoyed it immensely, Chronicler. Perfect. This is a perfect challenger series, start to finish. Oh yeah. No notes. Absolutely gorgeous. No notes. No, this is like, you, you take your last year's MSI away from this. No taking, no, don't write it down. Don't even emote it. As uh, Quantum Freaks looking a little bit dejected after that one. They did have some moments uh, within this series, but it wasn't fantastic, and they're continuing to not really find too much success here in Challenger, because it is, you know, still a very difficult league to find uh, to find victories in, especially now that so many of our teams have found so much more synergy within one another. Um, and Nongshim, not even necessarily considered an example of exactly that, as they are a team that is um, with a uh, mid laner in their bottom lane. And, uh, yeah. yeah, the uh, losing to an autofield laner is always a roughie. For Kwangdung, though, it, it, it again ties into individually, we've seen almost all of these players make great plays in the heat of the moment. I would, again want to go out to Undeal in particular, and even Courage. Like some of the re engagers, yeah. some of the plays were great, but the team is just fundamentally not aware of what to do, how to move around the map, how I to set up fights. I don't know what happens if Moonlight Vigil lands. Well, After we today, will, I we forgot. Will, we will never. Well, I think in series one, all of them were completely fine. Were they? I yeah. think we had a few. No, a few in series one, it was. One as uh, well. Who was it? it? Was Sandbox? So it was. No, Diablo. Oh, Diablo definitely. Diablo definitely. Diablo definitely. And Plata as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like between Diablo and Plata, I don't know if Plata played it, but it doesn't really matter for I, the two of them. Completely yeah. fine. Wow, that was the series we had earlier on. That was, yeah. Th that one felt like it was. I feel was like I've it. had a full readjustment of how I consider League of Legends <laughs> after that. Because I, I like, I look back at that series and I just have this gigantic static shiv icon. Yeah, and then this, head. this is, this is as good as Challenger gets. This was an honest game of League of Legends, though. It shivless, was. completely shivless. We are, Zero. we are just, we are just, just playing the game. And as it turns out, worked out pretty well here. For Nongshim. Call me having a great game. I think that Call Me looked fantastic. I he think uh, Mihail on his Cassante, always a pleasure. But for me, it was sound of getting around the jungle, doing some great really, things, finding the angles. No, I really like the like the sound of Oak. Actually is uh, is a great shout. The man had a great Drani game. This is a pick that is extremely high prioritized, but you need to make the early impact. And he did. Yeah. And now the six game series. The six it's probably, game day it's will... the call me double, isn't it? I think it is the call me double. Might be. Oh no, it's Mahail. Oh. So you're right. Three zero oh, nine. Boy. I have a I have a bit of a thing about voting for the Cassantes. I find it somewhat difficult. Oh, but it. when it's Mahail, I, I do feel better looking at this picture. You know? Can you see he the joy? Is the guy. He is that guy. And and we, we meme around a lot, but Mahal, as far as individually improved players go, over the course of this year, has been one of the front runners. Yeah. Was a just straight up Cassante one trick and um, That is a that is a challenge of CC score right there. Yeah. Yeah. Also the DPM, I know he built Sunfire, but still that's pretty That's pretty absurd. For a Cassante, it's pretty up there. Yeah. I mean, we see on average 80 carries that have like 600 odd DPM um, at the end of a season, and that is considered pretty good. Um, and so this for Cassante, who was, I guess, just pummeling a uh, Renekton punching bag, kind of the whole game, um, but still. Uh, I think that he had a fantastic game, 24% of his team's damage, and shout outs to Kallax here as well today. 
uh, stepping in for Jiu or Vital. Nongshim Red Force uh, in the LCK is running both of them at the moment. Jiu was uh, trying to perform, but it was a difficult matchup uh, last time they took to the Rift. And we'll see this week whether they're going to be uh, a little bit more successful as the LCK is going to start up tomorrow for hey, week uh, three. Yeah, he individually was adequate, but obviously... Oh yeah, when it's the, a bit out fast. When the little bit, when the team gap is as big as that, it's uh, it's toughy. So, what did we learn today? Ooh, I love Atlas. these questions. There's a lot what of things. Did we learn today? Um, in my notebook, um, that I was I was writing down all the little things because I like to like every day just like to write down, jot down a little bit of uh, the things that I I did take away from the day. Um, I just drew a gigantic lightning bolt. Zippity zappity. Yeah, and what I learned was that the more static shivs that you purchased, the more enjoyable the League of Legends you provide is. Um, Wasn't so... the second series way more enjoyable than the first one? Wow. Your sense of fun's crazy, because I, 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 I was bored as heck in the second series. Loved, especially the first game of the day. And then it got less interesting as the static shivs started to dissipate, and then by the end they were all gone. And that was very sad. And so what I learned was static shivs equal fun. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna watch um, Faker playing static shiv LeBlanc, um, just a few hours ago, my mate Midbeast uh, released a video um, where he spectates one of Faker's games. So after this, you could definitely go and check that one out. We actually really like Drew out here. Um, he was, yeah, oh he was no, supposed I'm not, to be on our, uh, I'm on not, our finals desk I'm and not, then got I'm, ill, unfortunately. I'm not silent treatmenting him. I want to be very clear about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. You're yeah, just doing it to me. Make it obvious. But I'm happy, to, I'm happy to just be here. You can be that. You can be a prop or something like that. Blink three times if you're being held hostage. Me? I have a feeling it might be this guy. Um, By you. Classic <laughs> AI casters. Absolutely. So but you guys know that I'm not an AI because an AI would be more hinged. Wouldn't it? Not necessarily. There are some fictional stories that involve AI being Ooh, like not Mother? Hinged. Have you seen Mother? No. The, is that, that the one with Jennifer Lawrence, the really weird one? I don't think it's Jennifer Lawrence. Isn't it? It might be. Might be. I don't know. I think that there, there was that one where it's like uh, it's like post-apocalyptic and there's this like robot that raises a child and then the child finds where she came from and her real mom and stuff like that. And it's a bit, no idea. A bit weird. Um I don't know whether I necessarily enjoyed it, but it was cool, and I like the premise. You know, mm. there are some movies that are just badly done, but the premise is so good that it's still provocative. You know, it gets people going. Yeah, it gets people going. Um, like Deus Ex. I I had a great day. This was uh, this was definitely one of the the days of challengers, and it's always more fun to lose your mind collectively than it is alone. No, exactly. And sometimes we have to we have to come here to challenger to really experience what we're about to experience in the LCK. And I think that what today has shown us is that we have a Yippee. lot of video games um, that are going to be great um, as we move into the LCK. Uh, on Wednesday, so there should be how many shivs? They're going to hotfix it. I'm sure of it. In time? Really? Well, no, no. We'll have like three days and then they'll be like... Can I have some votes from be chat? Like, we're uh, is it going to be hot fixed? We're going to remove the interaction where you get to double up on it with uh, with fleet, and then they're also going to remove the AP ratio or like yeah, but like when? Boom it. Like I give it 12, three days. No, I give it three days. Really? Yeah. Are we really against if, it that if the, much? Uh, if the LCK and LPL like actually like multi, they will. Yeah. Because remember. The final day of the LCK, that was when we saw the debut. Because it got buffed. There's no way they let this sit for three weeks. Like, I, I really, I want to give, I, I think when it comes to specifically items, like, stuff like this, I think Riot is very, very quick with it. I think, I think I, the Champs is onto it. They'll hot, fit, hot fix buff it. Because it really champions, is a little bit Champions, weird. Champions is very different because you can actually, there's often better ways of dealing with Champions and you can ban them. But with items, I do think they're generally a little bit more like, okay, this is... Oh, this is not good. This is too much. It definitely looked that way when um, Showmaker was playing Hextech Soul Static Shiv LeBlanc. Yeah. That looked um, like there was not very much... Um, of the counterplay yeah, variety? The counterplay situation looked a is little bit Is it over? Absent. So that is a very good question. Are the games over? 
Maybe. Yeah. Is Challengers over? No. No, we're not done yet. And we're still here. And until we are stop comment, we are keep comment. Yeah. And that might be infinite amounts of time. We don't know. At this point, like really, it just continues uh, forever. Isn't there a delay of when patches there update? Is. For pro- yes, absolutely. But hotfixes hot are, hot are different. Yeah. Those are straight immediately implemented. Usually, oh, not always. Challenger lives on in all of us. It absolutely he does. Lives in you. Lunana, bunny God. stacks. How Just good spitting are facts here. What uh, he lives in you? That's that's Lion King, right? What? You'll be in my heart. No. What? He lives in you. Is that um? Is that not? Is that Tarzan? Yeah. Oh. I mean, you'll be in my heart. Is no, not not Bill you'll Collins. be in my arms, Tarzan. No, it's he. He lives in you. Yeah. Don't know that one. Oh. Huh. That's probably just making it up. It's probably not Lion King. That is Lion King. Is it Lion King? <coughs> we need a post match oh, interview. Yeah, that's what Rafiki says about. Are you talking about? Um, he says it to Simba. No, it's part of the lyric. I'm not sure what it's from. I need to. I, I'll get back to this. I will figure this out. Give it up for Phil. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh yes. yes. Actually, to yeah. be honest, like if there is a movie soundtrack that I like the most, I think it's actually. I think it Disney is just Tarzan. Lion King. Yeah. No, 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 not Lion King. Tarzan. Oh, no, Tarzan is the best one. But yeah. the, the song I'm thinking about is uh, definitely yeah, Lion yeah, King. Yeah, yeah. I just okay. don't remember the specific part. Yeah. Um, Inside of you is that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Valdez wasn't even casting today and he's out of his what? mind. There I love it. still games at this hour. Yes, games will be sh- starting any any second now. Yeah. yeah we might. more games. Um, we yeah, have, we, uh, we do have the we next have, series. Uh, um, we have uh, another Jinek three. wins versus <clears throat> Kong the Monster. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Spenu Sonic Boom. Um versus KT the other boom um that was also a team here in the LCK yeah yeah, yeah. I think um those were our four matchups very excited CJ Entis I think is going to play the winner for a CJ Entis to make them me. feel better hits me mm. right here it's right in the feels yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful time to be alive and honestly CJ had uh you know they had frost they had flame uh CJ blaze sorry so uh, and then they we didn't got have a big upset today Atlas we did. We had Live Sandbox taking down DRX. That was a banger series. Um, went the distance, and the shivs won until there weren't any shivs left, and DRX collapsed under the pressure of not having shivs. And oh. then Quantum Freaks weren't that good, and Nongshiv were great. Uh, it's the Kips. Um, actually, Gen.G is, is Gen. one G's of the best second. team. Feli actually made them way better, and they're like winning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> they're second. <laughs> And they only lost one series thus far. Um, no, uh, I, don't, I don't really want. I don't really want to point. It's any not fingers. about Quid. It's, it's it's about the fact that Quid gave the rest of the team all of his power and influence as he and, left, and and all of that stuff. And then he went to allow them to thrive. I, you he know, did. he provided he, that he space for them to blossom. He, he inspired them all. Exactly right, the Kips. Um, it, and it, it was, it's incredible. So his, Sandbox, his gift. really big boon for Sandbox here today. Really big victory over DRX. Uh, as for teams that are struggling, both T1 and Kwangdong, the split have not had the best of times. Only one that's a little bit low, but I think Will raises KT. I think KT have already played D+, and I expect them to kind of rise throughout the yep. ranks as we go on. But, you know, Gen G getting all these early wins, maybe there is a shift. And we have seen this last year as well between spring and summer. There have been some big developments. Ooh, that's Gen a big one. Gen G versus D+. Plus. Oh, baby. So this is where Gen G might struggle a little bit. We'll see whether they can take a game off that's D+. Plus because yeah. D+, plus have not lost one singular a map. single map. They have not one game. loaded up onto Summoner's Rift, and they have clapped their opposition um, without remorse every single time. So... Gen.G, they can really prove themselves. If they're even able to take a game, they are That's clearly huge. better than uh, any other team that has attempted it. Uh, huge. Against D+. Plus. Uh, Nongshim, their test continues and against Bro. And DRX versus T1. DRX do need a bounce back. And we'll see whether T1 is uh, yeah, T1 going to be able to offer up anything. Has really been struggling ever since the loss of their star player in uh, MSI representative Bay. Yes. Yes. Which we, we joke, but that's actually what's happened. They lost Bay, and I they, think Poby individually is pretty good, but um, the yeah the team has not looked good. No, and I think that Bay did offer a level of veterancy that kind of kept the craziness in line, and now Forrest is 
He's gone to seed just a little bit. <laughs> He's running wild in he the is. forest. He is. Uh, so we'll just, we'll, we'll see. Of course, T1, a lot of players with a lot of potential. Smash, of course, absolutely fanta fantastic. But you have to play as a team in order to win as a team. KT, Live Sandbox is going to be on Friday, though, and Quantum Freaks then taking on Humble Life Esports. Humble Life Esports needing um, a they few pick-me-ups because they what? are a good team. Yeah, well, they were. Um, and, and maybe Quantum can provide them... Because well, yes. if they if they drop against Guangdong, then that's when uh, things are really... And that is, next week, we get Genji Nongshin? Ooh, that's a banger. Oh, okay, but Tuesday is, is a lot better, though. Tuesday is actually better. Tuesday is... You get a oh Telecom War, and, and then a rematch of the Spring Final? Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo! But we're not doing that. No, we, we are, are hitting the we're Brion on. versus <laughs> Guangdong. <laughs> <laughs> So Genji, oh Genji, my God, Genji Nongshim is the best. Next and week is the week so to be working on Tuesday. I actually, I, <laughs> I actually do. So obviously, Tuesday is better. I do want to, after what I've seen today, I do look forward to co uh, to casting more sandbox because that team. All right, I'll call Ox. It's me and Ox. <laughs> I do you did, like how this I, song hey, also just I ended. did. I oh. did. I played. I played. EUM man. I can. I can play by my challenge. Yeah, if you want to take a day absolutely. off, absolutely. If you want to vibe, me and Ox casting, I'd be down for that. That would be absolutely hilarious. Uh, I, I'd enjoy it as well. As uh, this is going to be your LCK oh week as this well. Week. We got some bangers Ooh, this week, man. Week. Yeah, we got a Telecom War and D Plus versus Gen G on the day. same day. The Saturday Showdown double bangers uh, definitely has been uh, hitting God. home recently. D Plus versus KT, also another big one. Um, day one exists. That's great. <laughs> it's um, there. And we've we've certainly got some uh, some good matchups here. Teddy versus Hummer Life Esports. Um, that will be a fun one. And Quantum Freaks, can they pick themselves back up after a T1 loss on Wednesday, potentially, uh, facing off against Nongshim? There are a few question marks, and uh, a lot could affect how these standings are going to shape up, mainly D+. Um, this is the time where they need to stop being weird and start being good. If only there was someone who could help them in that time of need. Somewhere, you know... On a mountain, maybe Mount Olympus. Uh huh. Could be a guy mm -hmm. who is in control of life and death. Uh huh. In the top lane. I think he's busy waiting to take on a group of players in a game called Lost Ark. I think that's what he's doing, actually. Um, we'll see. That's what I believe. And unless he's also that guy in Maple Story. Um, there was a Thanatos in MapleStory? I think story. there was a Thanatos in Why Maple is it always well? MapleStory, man? <laughs> Every time! But I think Thanatos came out and said that he named himself after the Lost Ark boss. Which, yeah, that's bad. I think that's what happened. It's not as good as... The original reference. The original yeah. reference, but I'll yeah. take it. You know, you got to reference something. Um, and Lost Ark was referencing that guy. So, therefore, I think it, it does sort of make sense. Um, so that was that was Challenger today. Um, I had a really good time. You know, it's good to be I back really again um, with with Chronicleizer on the because uh, we don't get to cast LCK this week. They we banned it. No, it's 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 because uh, we get too silly. Yeah. So yeah, that's they decided not it was illegal, and so therefore we're relegated to Challenger broadcast. So hope you guys put up with it, um, and you know it wasn't too bad. <laughs> You know, sound off in the chat. Maybe it was bad, but in a good way. We don't want it to be good in a bad way. Good, bad? Well, we want it to be bad, good. Mm. Bad, good is generally the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, but I think it's time for us to, to stop commenting. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And we will see you next week for more incredible Challenger action. It'll be Chronicler and I on Monday. Monday. Three best of threes that could be games. We'll see you there. Maybe.